This is the Edifier TWS1. This will be the second Edifier product we are reviewing on this channel. Uh, the first one was the Edifier G1SE uh, as a gaming headset. Really, really nice. So I'm um, hoping this is going to be nice too. Let's open it up. Okay, this is the Edifier TWS1. Let's open the box and see what's in it. Okay, let's unwrap this. Oh wow. Okay, this is very shiny. Very shiny and a fingerprint magnet. Oh my god. This is going to drive me crazy. I do not like fingerprints on things. If I have this, I'll keep wiping it every five minutes. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, okay, all right, nothing elaborate. Now we've got the edifier name right here. And I think I saw, yeah, uh, is a charge indicator right here. And charging port for the micro USB. And underneath we've just got specs for the headphone and for the charge case. Well, it's very small, nothing crazy. Oh, this is gonna bother me if I keep seeing this. <laughs> it is really gonna bother me. I suppose I'll pop this open and see. Ooh, I like. And like the charger case, it's also shiny too, so fingerprint magnet. So if you're anything like me, oof, that is really gonna bother. All right, it looks good. Uh, left and right. I, 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 like the, I like the stripes, very nice. You know how we do it on this channel? We always do a shake test to see if uh, the magnet here is strong enough to hold the, the earbuds in the case in place if you're not using them and maybe they're in your pocket or something and you're doing something vigorous. So let's try the shake test. It is in place. All right, let's take this out. Ooh, that's a very strong magnet. Is that a, let's see how this, ooh. Okay, let's put this aside. Ooh, I like this though. I really, oh, I like this. I like the design. I like the overall shape. Uh, just two things I've noticed now that I have a problem with. Okay, it's not much as, it's not as if it's a problem as such. It's, as such, sorry, sorry. It's not a problem as such. It's, uh, it's more like a preference. Firstly, I do not like the fact that it's so shiny because uh, that's a fingerprint magnet and I would, it will drive me crazy to keep seeing the fingerprints on it every time I touch it that will trouble me too much and also the charge plates are depressed in here too like um i think it's a philips one of the philips earbuds i can't remember which of the model it is again but it's depressed into like that that i find is always a problem especially if you have the, the charge pins like this that don't mean you have to be sure that you put it in correctly because if you don't and the charge pins just so much as narrowly miss that hole to reach the charge plates you're not going to get a charge on it and if you don't get a charge, and, and if that happens also, you also have the problem with it always being connected to your phone, even when it's in the charge case. So it's, it's, that's a problem I see. I don't, I think they should have made the charge plate to just, just be on the surface. So contact with the charge pins would be very, very easy. But if you put it in like that, I, I don't know. I wonder why they do that though. Maybe they're trying to protect it from sweat. But yeah, I, I, that, those are the only things I see. It's not, it's not exactly a problem, it's more of a preference thing. Well, let's see how this fits. Ooh, I like this though. Let's see how it fits. Oh, okay. Mighty comfortable. Yeah, and it's in place. You can shake your head. It's in place. Very, very good. And if you look just right there underneath is the mic. So since it's facing downwards towards your mouth, it's really gonna help with the clarity of your calls. It's, it's really, really, really very comfortable. Wow, I like this. And it fits just right, keeping out outside noise. It's, it's, it's very good, very, very, very comfortable. It's not in your ear, poking inside your ears. It's just, just right. Wow, that's good. Let's, let's pair these and see how they work. Firstly, we take out the earbuds. There we go, edifier, and 
and this pair right there i really i really like these these earbuds that pair up so quickly you don't have to struggle with them it's it's a whole thing let us test the audio first let's the okay let's test this one and see how it plays Oh wow. <laughs> All right. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Woo. All right. Wow. Oh wait, wait, let's 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 take this up. Whoa! Oh wow! Okay, let's let's see if we can use one earbud at a time. I put this back in the case. Yes, you can. And let's try on the left side. Oh, that's unfortunate. If you're just gonna use the earbud, just one piece is, has to be the left one, and now it reconnects. Oh, that's unfortunate, but hey, firstly, I'm very impressed. I am very impressed by the sound. It is incredible. This is very nice, very, very nice. The sound, very balanced. It's not really, there's, there's no crispiness to it. It's not like it's crisp, crisp, crisp. <laughs> oh my God, okay. There's no crispness to it. I, I hope I'm saying that right. There's no crispness to it, but it's, there's this every breezy sound. It's, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean breezy. I don't mean the, the sound you hear, like, like wind going through a microphone. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's how balanced it sounds. The mids and the high and, and, and the highs perfectly balanced. It is, it is, it is very great. There, there's a tweeting sound to it, like the, like the old Kenwood speakers, if you remember those, or, or the earphones or something, if you remember those. There's a little tweeting sound that it adds to, to the whole dynamic of the thing. It's, it's incredible. And the bass, the bass is, is, is per my kind of person, this is the kind of bass I want. I don't want the one that's gonna take out my eardrums. At the same time, I don't want it to be too quiet. It is just perfect. And it's not the thumping kind of bass. The one that goes dum, 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 dum. It's the one that goes doof. It, it breathes as it, as it pounds. It. <laughs> oh my God. For, for a moment there in my head, I just imagine myself on the other side of the camera watching me go doof and dum. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I digress. I digress. But but that is incredible. The bass is incredible. It, it is great. The only thing I just I just discovered now is if you're going to use the, the the earbuds one at a time, it has to be the left one. The the if you put the right one back in the case, it still plays the left. But if you put the left one back in the case, the right one disconnects also. My kind of person is the sound I'm looking for right here. It is, it is, it is very nice. I did not expect it to be, to be this good. I, I really didn't. Let's test the touch controls. The same control works on both sides, on, on either the left or the right. To pause and play, to play, one more tap and it pauses. Play and pause. So one tap and you pause and play. To go to the next song, you double tap and it goes to the next song. You double tap and it goes to the next song. If you want to go back to the previous song, you triple tap. One, two, three. And it goes to the previous song. And it goes to the previous song. For you to increase or decrease the volume, you have to do it from your device. So if I want to increase the volume here, I have to go to my device and increase the volume. And if I want to decrease it, same. There is no controls on the on the earbuds for to reduce or increase the volume. This is where I think there is a waste because the left earbud does the same thing the right earbud does. They could have maybe put the left earbud to control volume. So the Edify, if you're listening, I think you guys should look into that. Anyways, aside that, this is a great product. Somebody please 
buy this earbud, test it out for yourself, and tell me what you think. Honest opinion, guys. I, I really do recommend it. Now, I'm going to use it for the next two weeks, and then I'll tell you what I think. Okay, I'll use it for the next 14 days, and then I'll come, I'll, and then I'll tell you what I think about these earbuds if maybe they worked very well or maybe i found some issues with them because right now we're just testing on the surface besides that on the surface right now this is a great product wow now after using this product for two weeks these are my observations and i made a note playback time at a single charge at full volume you get eight hours at mid volume you get 11 hours the charging case will give you another 24 hours now connectivity with this product was amazing it was very very steady and stable but only at eight meters not at 10 meters yeah i was surprised too usually you get 10 meters from these things but no eight meters using the earbuds independently i made a mistake when i was doing the testing i did not charge the right earbud properly so when i put it back in the case it went into charge mode and disconnected the whole thing but if you charge it properly you are able to use the earbuds separately i mean you can put one back in the case and you can listen out of either earbud it works call quality very very great i think i'll give it an eight or maybe an 8.5 it was really 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 good very very clear really good yeah that's about everything i observed about that i think some other things i'm forgetting right now but you can just ask me anything in the comment section and i'll respond uh, as i remember this is a very very great product it's something i'll recommend i in fact i recommend you get this if you want it i think this product is just in the budget range because people don't know about it or people are not familiar with the brand name otherwise i think it will give most of these huge names a cool run for their money this is a great product i recommend get it if you want it it's cool Thank you for watching the video up till the end. Remember to like the videos, share them across your social media platforms. If you're watching for the first time, click on the subscription button and the notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up if you like the video. And until next time, take care.